The family of the First World War poet, Wilfred Owen, has criticised a mock auction taking place tonight as part of the Oslo Street Festival of the Word. Owen was born in the Shropshire town, but his family sold up and moved away to pay off debts. Tonight, that episode will be dramatised as part of a musical telling of Wilfred Owen's story, but it's been condemned by relatives as tasteless and awful. Joanne Rittle reports. Men marched to sleep. Many had lost their boots, but limped on, lunch on. The world was famous war poet Wilfred Owen in his iconic poem, Dulce et Decorum Est. Inspired by suffering he saw in World War I trenches as a soldier, and is still studied in schools today. In the run-up to the centenary of World War I commemorations, Owen is still making headlines. Sold to Charles Drew. Now a scene in a play depicting his mother's heartache when family possessions were auctioned off amid financial embarrassment has upset the poet's nephew. Wilfred Owen's mother Susan had to move from the family home in Oswald Street when it was sold to live in industrial Birkenhead. Peter Owen has spoken to us on camera in the past but declined to today, describing the scene as tasteless and unpleasant. This was the Owen family home which had to be sold. Peter Owen told me it broke his grandmother Susan's heart, but he also said he felt the controversial play scene has no real connection to his poet uncle because he left here when he was four. Dean Johnson is the author of Bullets and Daffodils, due to be performed at Oswald Street Cricket Club, built on land which reportedly once to belong to the Owen household. I've never set out to uh, upset anyone, and, and really I, I never wrote anything that, that didn't exist. It's not. It's not a work. It's not a work of fiction. It's fact. Um, I, I actually, it's a toned down version um, from what I picked up in, in the biography. Wilfred Owen is, is the voice of, of World War One, and, and in many ways the face. I, I describe him, and maybe this will get me in trouble as well, as the poster boy of World War One. The play, which has also been staged in a West End fringe theatre, will be performed as part of the Oswald Street Literary Festival tonight. The Owen family did return to Shropshire, to Shrewsbury, but it was there that Susan Owen received a telegram on Armistice Day saying her son had been killed in France. Joanne Rittle, BBC Midlands Today, Shropshire.